Hey guys, Jackson Savvy here, and in today's Windows tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to launch all of your PC games through one interface. In this case, it's going to be Steam. Now, before we go into some of the nuance of it, uh, I'll get right to the point and show those of you who just want to know how to do it the quick and dirty. Uh, we'll click on your Steam, go to Games at the top left, and add a non-Steam game to your library. Now, Steam will attempt to scan you know the default locations of where it thinks your games will be some cases it'll be there some cases it won't if it's not just go to browse and find where it is actually installed now you might be able to find this through your game launcher itself or just through a quick google search like in this case if i was wanting to install call of duty and i didn't see it on the list you click on the folder and there's my executable right there so that's just the quick and dirty of how you add non-Steam games to your library and to be able to launch them from there. Now, the reason that this has become relevant as of late, especially, is companies like Epic and Bethesda not liking that revenue split that Steam offers devs and publishers. Now, for those of you who are smart enough to stick around because, you know, context matters, this isn't exactly a method that I'd recommend for any reason. It's just basically a link to a link. Um, in the case of Black Ops 4, if you add it this way through Steam, you're going to hit play, and there's some workarounds to go directly into the game. But in this case, all it's going to do is open blizzard.net, go down to Call of Duty Black Ops 4, and you're still going to have to hit play. So let me make sure that launcher is closed. Now, Fortnite, if you notice, I've already added it. And it looks weird there because that's the shortcut I actually had to add. So whenever I was saying about uh, where to go and looking for the right directories, you may have to do a little research to find out which one you should actually launch. So if I go into add an on Steam game, I went to browse. The first time I tried just the Fortnite launcher, and that could take up to five minutes if I was launching directly through that. But now if I go through the Fortnite client, the Win64 one, now that one launched correctly. So if you have to go through and kind of tailor each one, if that's absolutely what you want to do is launch them through Steam, that'll be something that you'll encounter. But you can, you know, go to properties after right clicking it, you can change the name. You can change launch options, target, where to start it. So there's ways to tailor this to make it work really well. But either way, these games are still going to have to open their respective browsers for updates and for dependencies. So uh, if you want to do it, feel free. But know there'll be a little work ahead of you. But yeah, in the case of Fortnite, games like that, it will open it correctly just like you would if you clicked on the desktop link. So just something to bear in mind, guys, if it's actually worth it to you. Not to mention the weird anomalies you may see with your Steam overlay. And like I said, launch options and little things like that you can fix this or change it to where it's usable, but really don't recommend this at all. Now, just to be clear here, guys, there are no advantages doing this method over just launching it from your desktop, from an icon, or from the launcher themselves. This is just one of those things if you like to consolidate it or get rid of your icons, because any of these games that you launch, even if you've got them all added through Steam, they're still going to launch each of these launchers. And this is because of any relevant dependencies or features. This has to be running in the background. Like, let's take a look at Origin here when you're playing Apex. You've got your social networks basically on each launcher as well. There might be Steam integration like there is in Apex, but there's still going to be something that needs to run in the background, including updating the game or anything along those lines. So don't think you're getting out of one less service. But the thing you do need to do is go into your task manager sometime and look at startup. You know, you can control shift escape, pop it right up and then hit on startup. If you're looking through your startup programs and you're seeing 
you know, multiple launchers. Like I don't even let Steam start up when the computer starts up. But there's a chance you might have like four launchers that are running right when Windows starts. That can kill your performance, be a lot more taxing on your CPU, your memory, all of that. So start getting in the habit of going into your launchers. Like in this case, we'll look at uh, Origin again. Go into your settings. And you might have to kind of go through a couple different places because they're not all the same. But uh, in this case, I went straight to application settings and I can see automatically start origin. I would turn every single one of those off until, you know, when you launch the game, it'll automatically open for you. So keep your processes down to a minimum. And also in the same regard, if you're adding those and you don't know where it's installed, a lot of times this will show you exactly where uh, right here under installs and saves in this launcher it shows me the default uh, install location or if you've changed it where it's going to and that'll be where you navigate to within Steam to add that game under add non Steam you'll navigate right to that so if I were gonna add Apex right now I could follow that and go to C program files x86 origin games apex and we just look for the application now see how the easy anti-cheat launcher is also there when this launches these should launch right along with it so if you pick the wrong one and something like a cheat software doesn't work go back there and reselect uh, in case you pick the wrong one but that's basically it guys keep your uh processes down to a minimum that open with windows and if you're wanting to bring it all down to one place you can do it with steam or for those strange people that actually like it uh geforce experience already has this built in so if you like launching through here same place that you can do your recording update your drivers all that good stuff this is the same thing with GeForce Experience. And if you don't see it here, you can also add a game through scanning or through telling it exactly where it is. So just a couple different ways to uh, launch everything from one place. But functionality remains the same, guys. It's just basically a different shortcut to it. So if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. And I appreciate you guys watching.